Welcome to the Simplicity of the Gospel brought to you by the Pegwell Community Church of Christ Church in Barbados. Today is Monday, the 4th of January 2021. Yesterday, Sunday, we were speaking about some things that we need to do immediately if we are going to get back on track and fulfill those things which God has called us to do. We started up with looking at the book of Hebrews where the Lord said to us that we should call to remembrance those days after which we were illuminated when that shot of light shot into our heart we were so excited and those were the times when we decided what we wanted to be in life and what God has put in our hearts to do whether God has called us to be evangelists Sunday school teachers or whatever God had called us to do or be the best carpenters or the best plumbers or whatever we were illuminated we were excited we had the vision it was it was it was seared in our consciences it was weird down in our heart. But some thought somehow, somewhere along the line, although we have tried and tried and tried, maybe we've been trained for a short time, maybe we've been trained for a very long time, but somewhere along the line, we have not, we do not think that we have been successful. So the Lord is going to give us this week about six or seven things that we need to look at. That we should not be discouraged or depressed or discouraged or anything like that. No, no, no. Where there's life, there's hope. You probably did not make it so far. It does not mean that you have failed. So we said the first thing we should do is remember what God called us to do. Where God called us to go. What God called us to be. What God called us to say. And if we are not people of God, we are not Christians, born again Christians. Let us remember then. Uh, let us remember what we purpose in our heart that we wanted to achieve. The home we wanted to achieve, the family, the, the marriage, the business, the success that we were aiming for. And we have not yet achieved it. God said, remember that. Remember it. Now, having remembered, he said, I want you to do a second thing. I want you to review. I want you to go back and I want you to make a gut-wrenching uh a challenge to yourself I want you to go back and I want you to look from the very beginning and see may an honest and gut-wrenching review of your performance ask yourself why why have I not achieved ask yourself when do you plan to achieve ask yourself what were the hindrances in the way were other people hindering me was I hindering myself uh, were the circumstances not right? How come I did not get promotion on the job? How come I did not get married? How come I don't have the children? How come my business is not as successful as it ought to be? You need to make a review. You have to know where you are now so that you can make, put plans in place to go forward. Every businessman does that. At the end of the financial year, he comes together with his board and they lay on the tables, the balance sheet, the profit and loss account, the cash flow. Maybe there's some graphs. Maybe they're, they're source and use of funds. But all these statements are put on, on, on the table. And they look and see. They make a review as to why we're in this state. Could we have made more money? Why we didn't make more money? Should we increase prices? Should we advertise some more? Should we employ more staff? And so there is a review as to why... We have not accomplished that which we need to accomplish. God is asking you today to make that review. Make that review. You remembered what you're supposed to do. You have not yet achieved it, but you got to make that review. You know, it is important to remember, you know, God wrote to two churches in the book of Revelation. And he said to them that they should, they should remember. Remember from whence you have fallen, he said in one place. Remember from whence you have fallen and do your first works again. Remember, God expects us, yes, to remember. But I'm saying today, God wants us to review our situation. As a church, we've got to review our situation as well. As a church, we ask ourselves, have we grown? Have we gone into the positive or the negative as, that, as it re relates to church growth? Did we grow numerically? Did we grow spiritually? How did we grow? Did we grow at all? 
So we've got to spend some time reviewing. The church must come together and ask what is happening in the Sunday school department. What, what is happening? What, what is happening? We have to do that. We have to review. So husbands, review. Wives, review. Children, review. Why, your, why are your grades not up any higher? God expects you to sit back and review. Take an honest and perhaps a painful review of yourself. Did I accomplish the task? Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, I do not count myself to have apprehended. In other words, I have not yet attained. I have not yet come to the place that God has called me to be. So you are in good company. Uh, I have not come to the place where God wanted me to come. I have not yet attained. Maybe you have not attained because you did something that was wrong. Take Abraham, for example. Abraham was told that he should leave one land and go to another land. That's all God told him. But he had an elderly father. And then he had a, a, a nephew. And perhaps he was thinking of himself. Well, you know, I can't leave them by themselves. So I have to take them with me. He took them with him and he never prospered. He never entered into what God wanted him to do until Lot finally separated from him. So sometimes uh, and you do your review, you might ask yourself, did I do the right thing? Take King Saul, for example. The Lord said to him, go kill the Amalekites, kill all the animals and, and, and whatever. And he did not reach the success. As a matter of fact, he lost the kingdom. He was removed from being king. Because he did what he wanted to do and not what God said he should do. So in your review, are you doing what God has called you to do? Or are you doing what is popular? Are you doing what you see other people are doing? No, you need to take a very comprehensive review. Have I obeyed the Lord? Samuel said, what are all these bleating of the sheep I hear in my ear? Well, you have not done what God has told you to do. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of rams. Let me ask you a direct question. As you review your life, have you been praying? Have you been fasting? Have you been studying the word of God? Have you been witnessing? Have you been sowing like Isaac? Isaac sowed in the land of famine and in that year he received a hundredfold. Have you been? If you are not, this is a good time to make a turnaround. This is a good time to change your course. Whatever you come up with, that is, the, that is the reason for your not being in the place where God has called you to be. God is calling upon you today at the beginning of the year. Did you sow into the church your time, your talent? Did you sow uh, your giftings into the church? Were you cooperative with leadership? Did you do what God has called you to do? What is your reputation in the church? What, what are you like? So God is saying, remember what you are supposed to be. Remember where you're supposed to be. Remember what you're supposed to be doing. You are illuminated. It was right in your heart. I put it right in your heart. Remember. The second thing he said, review. Go over it and see where you have missed the mark. Where you have not been all that God has called you to be. And determine in your heart now in 2021 that you will no longer blame anybody else for your inertia. You will no longer blame anybody else for your lack of progress. You are going to cast that aside and you having reviewed the state of your life, your family, your personal prosperity, your social life, having reviewed it and come to the conclusion, oh, I'm not where I ought to be. Rise up and do the third thing that we're going to talk to you about tomorrow. We talk to you about remembering. Remembering. Remembering that vision that God gave you, the vision that you had for yourself. Then review. Why are you where you are? Why have you not attained anymore? Why have you not yet attained to the goal? You do a wrenching and sometimes a, a real, real hard down on yourself approach to it so that you can change. The next word we're going to look at it at is that you're going to have to repent, which means to change your mind, change your direction, and change your action. God bless you. If you do not have a local assembly, feel free to join us for an exhilarating time of worship. Our services are... Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Sunday evening, healing and deliverance at 6.30 p.m. Join us in prayer on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and for Bible study on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Bless fellowship and enjoy. The simplicity of the gospel.